Hey there, Springboks fans. Guess what? France's head coach, Fabien Galti, is still feeling the sting of that intense Rugby World Cup quarterfinal loss against our boys in green and gold. Les Bleus were on fire during the World Cup, winning all their pool matches, even landing a solid victory over New Zealand. But when they faced the Springboks in the quarterfinals, it was a nail-biter, with a tight 29-28 victory for us. Galthi couldn't hide his disappointment about the outcome. He has not spoken about his team's defeat since their World Cup exit and said he wanted the tournament to reach its conclusion and allow his team to mourn their departure from the global showpiece before speaking to the media again. Four years of consistent progress, the only objective was to be world champion. The disappointment would have been the same if we'd lost by one point in the semi-final or final, Galthi told Reuters. When you play for the French team at a World Cup, you have to be ready to win, but also to live through what you've been through. There's only one team that's really been through a lot, the world champions. We'll be scarred for life, and that's part of our journey. We've all been through a kind of introspection, first personally and then collectively, about what we've been through. The Springboks went on to clinch their fourth Rugby World Cup title following one-point victories over England and New Zealand in the semi-finals and final. Galthi said after analysing their quarter-final defeat, he believes he used the right tactics and would still employ the same strategy if given another chance to go into battle with the box. One point is nothing, but one point is everything, he said. Tactically, I'd use the same strategy if I had to do it all over again. Despite the facts of the game and the match scenario, our aim was to play for the win right up to the last action, whatever happened. So, Springboks fans, what did you think about that nail-biting quarter-final match? Do you agree with Galthi's perspective on the tactical approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the updates, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more Springboks news.